This is the 18th video in our series looking at how to set up a Google Nest Wi-Fi network. In our previous video, we took a look at how we assign a static IP address to a device on our network using something called DHCP IP reservation. However, one of the problems with DHCP IP reservation is what happens to a device should our router need to be factory reset or replaced. As it is our router that is reserving IP addresses on our network, if our router is, for example, replaced, any devices assigned with a static IP address through DHCP IP reservation would simply revert back to using a dynamic IP address. As the main reason why we use a static IP address is to ensure that a device on our network is always contactable via the same address, if a device reverts to using a dynamic IP address, other devices on our home network will no longer know what IP address that device was using. So it is for this reason that when working with static IP addresses, we prefer to manually assign each device with a static IP address rather than rely on DHCP IP reservations. As not all of the devices on our home network will need to use a static IP address, and because in our previous video we used DHCP IP reservations, in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to manually assign a static IP address to a Synology network attached storage device. Due to the way a Google Nest Wi-Fi router has been designed, working with static IP addresses is actually a very easy thing to do. To show you what we mean, if we open the Google Home app and then select settings, from within home settings, if we choose Nest Wi-Fi, and then under Primary Network, we select Advanced Networking. By choosing LAN Settings, we can see how DHCP has been configured. As you can see, a pool of IP addresses has already been allocated for DHCP to use. However, this pool of addresses starts in an odd place. Rather than starting with 192.168.86.2, which is the IP address after the one assigned to our router, the DHCP pool starts at 192.168.86.20 and ends at 192.168.86.250, which means that there are 23 IP addresses that our DHCP pool does not use. The reason for this is that these addresses have been left so that we can manually assign them to devices of our choosing. However, before we try and use one of these addresses, we need to check DHCP IP reservations to make sure that we're not trying to use an IP address that we previously assigned to a different device. So if we return to the previous panel and then select DHCP IP reservations, you can see that we have a device which has been assigned with a static IP address, which means that we now know not to use the address 192.168.86.2 as this IP address is being used by a network printer. However, there's nothing stopping us from assigning 192.168.86.3 to our Synology NAS. In order to manually assign a static IP address to a network device, Rather than work from the Google Home app, we're going to need to work directly from the device that needs the static IP address. As the network settings on a Synology NAS can be accessed via a web browser, we first need to know what dynamic IP address our NAS is using in order to connect to it. While we could find this information from within the Google Home app, instead we're going to use something called the Synology Assistant. So from our web browser, if we type find.synology.com, when we press enter, our browser will search for the NAS connected to our home network. If we now select connect, we're prompted for a username and password. After entering our administrator's credentials, we're presented with the user interface to our NAS. If we now locate and select Control Panel, from within Control Panel, we need to locate the heading Connectivity and then select the option called Network. 
by selecting the Network Interface tab, we're presented with the network ports on our NAS. As you can see, only one of the local area network ports on our NAS is currently being used. So if we highlight LAN 1 and then choose Edit, we're taken to the configuration panel for our LAN port. As you can see, currently our LAN port has been assigned an IP address from the DHCP server on our Google Nest Wi-Fi router. So to manually assign this LAN port with a static IP address, all we need to do is change the setting, use manual configuration. We then need to adjust the IP address from 192.168.86.25 to 192.168.86.3. If we now select OK, as the other settings do not need to be changed, our static IP address is then applied to our NAS, but because our NAS is no longer using the address 192.168.86.25, our browser redirects us to our new static IP address of 192.168.86.3. As we mentioned earlier, we prefer to manually assign static IP addresses rather than use DHCP IP reservation. However, unlike DHCP IP reservation, where you can easily see which devices have been assigned static IP addresses, we now need to make a note of the static IP address that we've assigned to our NAS. This is because no two devices on our network should ever use the same IP address. So to summarize, in this video we took a look at an alternative method for assigning static IP addresses to devices on our Google Nest Wi-Fi network. We did this by first checking the Google Home app to see how the DHCP pool on our Google Nest Wi-Fi router was configured. We then checked DHCP IP reservations to see if any devices had already been assigned with a static IP address. Then as an example, as to how to manually assign a device with a static IP address, we configured a Synology NAS to use the static IP address of 192.168.86.3. In the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at an option in the Google Home app called Speed Priority, which is a function that will allow us to give a specific device priority to more bandwidth than the other devices on our home network.